हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन एट योर होम माई सेल्फ बतूल शेख फ्रॉम राजीव गांधी इंग्लिश प्राइमरी एंड हाई स्कूल रनिंग अंडर द पश्चिम महाराष्ट्र एजुकेशन ट्रस्ट चिल्ड्रन कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज योर हॉबी योर आंसर कैन बी प्लेइंग रीडिंग वॉचिंग टी वी डांसिंग स्विमिंग सिंगिंग and playing video games etc right now question comes in our mind what is hobby so children hobby is what a kind of activity which we like to do at our free time leisure time is called hobby so children today we are going to learn a very interesting poem from our textbook ledger so let's see first we will do the recitation of the poem then we will go for the explanation so let's recite the poem what is this life if full of care we have no time to stand and stare no time to stand beneath the box and stare as long as sheep or cows no time to see when woods we pass where squirrel hide their nuts in grass no time to see in broad daylight streams full of star like skies at night no time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet how they can dance no time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile her eyes begin last stanza a poor life this if full of care we have no time to stand and stare written by william henry davies so children we had completed our recitation of the poem now we will go line by line explanation so the very first two lines let's see what is this life if full of care we have no time to stand and stare in this line the poet wanted to tell us that what is the purpose of life if we will think so we will get the answer it is full of care means it is full of worries because people are so busy with their work and problems so we have no time to admire the nature around us we are so busy with our lives in that line the poet wanted to tell we don't have time to admire to observe the nature we all are busy in our daily life no time to stand beneath the box and stare as long as sheep or cows in this line children the poet wanted to tell us that people are so busy in their lives they don't have time to stand under the beautiful trees under the beautiful forest that means we don't have time just like the sheep and cow who just stares at their surroundings at the nature the beautiness of the natures that we human beings are so busy with our lives we don't have time to observe to admire the nature now come on the next stanza children no time to see when woods we pass where squirrel hide their nuts in the grass children in this lines the poet says us that we don't have time to observe the beautiful nature We, when we are passing through the forest when we are passing through the jungle we don't have time to observe that how the squirrel hide the beautiness how the squirrel hides its nuts in the grass so it is a kind of beautiful activity which we can observe in our nature but what we are doing we are having no time to observe the beautiness of the nature next stanza as you run no time to see in broad daylight streams full of stars like skies at night in this line the poet tell us that the river shines in the sunlight 
in the daytime so it looks like a stars at the night how it look like a stars at the night children you know when the sunlight falls on the water and the river it's look as it produce shining like the stars so it looks like the star at night time during the day time when the reflection of the rays falls on the river so it is looking like the star shining during the day time now next lines no time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet how they can dance in this line the poet wanted to tell us nature is here personified as the beautiful girl who is dancing and glancing in the same way children our nature is also dancing and glancing but we don't have to time to uh, don't have time to observe the nature while it dancing and glancing next lines no time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile her eyes begin here the poet says that people don't have time to observe the changes which is occurs in the nature when the nature change it looks like a smile which is start from the eyes and after that it spreads on the mouth means here the mouth is considered as the face the smile which start from the eyes and then it spreads all over the face same thing happens in the nature which we are not observing we don't have time to observe the beautiness of the nature now let's see the last stanza of the poem a poor life this a full of care we have no time to stand and stare so in the last two lines the poet says that what is our life our life is a poor life that we are spending our life in with full of care and the poet he says that the life is very very poor that we are not enjoying our life by the observing the nature to feel the beautiness of the nature what we men we are so busy with our problems with the cares but we don't have time to observe the beautiness of the nature so in that way children the poem was written by william henry davis i hope the poem is clear to you now don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching thank you